Hello everyone, welcome to a new Let's Play. Today we're going to be starting Cuphead the Delicious Last Course. So I played Cuphead earlier so that I could play this DLC and have myself refreshed. Seems like we got a new song here on the start screen. I have heard this song because they had it in like the trailer for this game. It's very, very good. Um, so let's go ahead and hop in. We know what Cuphead is now, we know what we're getting into. I'm guessing we access the DLC somewhere on Inkwell Isle? So, I'm at 98% here because uh, I, I think there's like a few characters I have to talk to to get some extra coins or something. So, it has to be like back here or something, right? I'm not totally sure. Okay, here we go. The legendary Chalice has an urgent message for you. Find me on the coast, cops. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. And like, in most DLC for a lot of games, there's like a character that just appears on a map of the boat and is like, I'll take you to a new place. Alright, so let's go over here and check this out. I suppose I could use those extra coins for stuff here. Uh, I could go back and get them if I if I find that I need them, because I imagine we have to buy the new like charms and weapons and stuff. Legendary Chalice bid me carry a message to you. She needs your help. A far off isle, a mysterious discovery. Boat awaits, let us depart. Yeah! I've been waiting for this DLC for quite a while. Oh no, not the creepy sun. Don't smile at, my, smile at me like that, you weirdo. Delicious last course. It's not creepier than the Teletubby sun. The Teletubby tubby sun is very, very creepy. I don't know how hard this is going to be, and I'm a bit intimidated by that. Obviously, I just replayed through Cuphead, so... What could Legendary Chalice be looking for all the way out here? Gosh, Cuphead, I don't know. Hope she's okay. We sure are far from home. <coughs> Jumpin' jelly beans, you boys made it! Have the most amazing news. And it all has to do with this here cookie. Take a bite and see for yourselves. Is it a weed cookie? <coughs> What's this? It is! <laughs> it worked! It really worked! I'm alive again. Oh, wow. But now I'm a ghost. Well, screw you, I guess, Mugman. What's going on here? Everything's gone topsy-turvy. Follow me, boys. I can explain everything. Well, obviously, I'm going to be playing as Miss Chalice, because she's the new character. For ages, I've been trying to find a way to escape the astral plane, but nothing works. Till now, boys, let me introduce you to... Chef Saltbaker, the greatest chef in all the lands. Welcome, friends. Welcome to my bakery. Ah, oh, Miss Chalice, I see my cookies worked wonders on you. Oh, my stars. Oh. I'm a ghost again. Oh my, a finicky thing, that cookie. Taste is sweet, but the effect is brief. Fret not, though, my concerned little cups. I've come up with an amazing new recipe. One bite of this wonder tart, and you'll have complete control over the astral plane. This wonder tart could bring Chalice back to life for good? No swapping places or nothing? Indeed, just one problem. The recipe requires exceptional ingredients held by the most fearsome of foes. Well, if the wonder tart is what it takes to bring Chalice back to life, then by golly, we'll find those ingredients. Okay, so how do I play as Chalice, though? Because if you're still a ghost... Stay on your guard, intrepid cops. Fetching those ingredients will be a test of wit and wills. But remember, like any good bake, heart and soul is the secret ingredient. Okay. Anything else? Why not? I'll keep perfecting this recipe while you're out and about. I just know you'll put yourself fully into bringing the Wonder Tart to life. Fabled ingredients await, friends. Hmm, now where did I put my salt? Alright. Salt Baker. That's a very funny name, because you're a salt shaker. Haha, <laughs> I get it. One more thing, chaps. Remember to equip that nifty cookie charm in the menu if you want to battle as Miss Chalice. Oh, I have to equip the cookie if I want to battle as Chalice. Wait, so it takes up a whole charm slot? So I don't get my smoke bomb? Gain access to her double jump, dash parry, and invincible roll. Holy hell, she sounds busted. So, it'll... Yeah. So it'll be just like my smoke bomb, except I'll actually be able to see my character? Oh, that sounds amazing. And she has a double jump? And dash parry? Invincible- oh wait, invincible roll might be different than dash. Well, I mean, I gotta try her, right? So now I'm... Okay, I have the- I have the cookie equipped. I'm guessing that means... 
Yeah, okay. So I'm guessing that means when I actually get into a fight, I'll be Miss Chalice, so... Cool. Alright. What is this? Recipe... for Miss Chalice. Enter? Okay, well, I don't... Extra, extra, Chef Salbaker awarded best baker in all the lands. All your, uh, them cups that took out the devil, ain't ya? That style's tough, but if you sent that imp pack in, you got two cases to spare. Here, pal, let's take a little moolah for doing the world a favor. Ooh, three gold coins. Cool. Recipe for Miss Chalice. So is this an actual... What is it? Oh, okay. Oh, this is just how you play as Miss Chalice. Okay, so parry dash. Parry for flavor, just the dash will do. Wow. Okay, so I can't do a normal parry. I have to dash to parry now. Okay, well that's different. And then dodge roll. Okay, it's only on the ground though. Well, that's gonna take some getting used to, I think. Wow, okay. You are definitely different, Miss Chalice. Uh, so this is the thing I can parry. So I'm trying to get up there to that coin. Whoop. Oh, okay, well this is a little challenge in and of itself. Because I gotta get up here without hitting any of that stuff? Oh, I got invincibility? Dodge roll? Yeah, there we go, that's what gets me through here. Oh god, I'm so used to parrying other ways. This is gonna be so rough. It's gonna take some getting used to for sure. Alright, well now we can exit. We got a free coin out of that. And you have 4 HP. Okay, I didn't miss that fact either. I'm pretty sure you hit 4 HP. Alright, there's two options here. Hopefully we can beat a boss in the first episode. Moonshine Mob in Bootlegger Boogie. Alright, let's see if I can pull it off. Okay, so... Here we are. Uh-huh. Gotta remember... Whoop. Uh-huh. Wait, how do I get rid of those things? Eat it, dork? No? I missed. Uh-huh. I shot you in the butt. Whoop. Okay, well that's certainly something. Uh. Uh-huh. I mean, we're doing it. I'm just not going to be good with this chalice, I think. Uh-huh. Whoop. Connect- Oh, I'm trying to dash into that. Oh god, I'm getting all my controls mixed up. Um. Sorry. It has been, like, you know, a month, so it's not like it hasn't been any time. There's just a lot going on here. Uh, my charge right here? There we go. Okay, well, we beat the first phase. Alright. I want to hit you. Oh, damn it. Screwed up. Hello? What is with this, this music stuff? Oh, okay. Once it, like, starts to glow like that, I'll take damage. Okay, good to know. I can use my invincibility dash, though. Oh, oh I dashed into you, though. Damn it. Uh-huh. Okay, well, that's the second phase down. Uh, hi. Okay. Uh, okay, so, wait, so your tongue is pink. Can I parry that? <laughs> I don't think I can. One thing this knows knows is use cups gonna be pushing up roses. Okay. Well, Miss Chalice is going to take some getting used to for sure. That was probably a horrible display because it's hard to get used to not like pressing A twice to parry and all that. Once I get used to it though, this will be a little bit easier. And charge definitely makes things easier. Uh-huh. Oh! God, I gotta remember- Oh, that's what's screwing me up. Damn it. That is what's screwing me up. Dodging soldiers is B. Dodging this is Y. I forgot about that. That was my problem with Cuphead last time. It's such a struggle because it's the complete opposite controls. That's just gonna take some getting used to. Uh huh. Whoop. There we go. Uh huh. Okay, once I get used to the dodge roll, the dodge roll is gonna be pretty damn useful. Ah. Okay, well, that's fine. We're doing okay. We may actually be able to beat a boss this episode without much difficulty even, so let's see if we can pull it off here. Uh-huh. Uh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, it just takes some getting used to. The double jump is, quite frankly, godlike. Uh-huh. 
Yeah. Ooh, that was three hits. Ah, damn it. Why did I jump up there? Oh god, these things are all over the place. Ow. Why? Why do they exist? Okay, you're dead, but... I have a whopping one HP, so this is, uh, not gonna work out. I really need to start hitting some of these pinks to get it to build my meter faster. Uh-huh. Ow. Yeah, you gotta dodge at the right time. I think you have to dash dodge through that. If you don't want to take damage, right? Like, can you, I imagine you can do these with Cuphead and Mugman, so there's probably a way to... Another way to dodge it. But, uh, I just gotta know what that is. Uh-huh. Uh, ow! What? Oh, okay. That thing, like, exploded on me. Ooh. Okay, you're down again. Okay, so they do explode. I, d I hadn't noticed that previously. Oh. <laughs> I thought you stopped up there. Stance is over. There's no excuse. You couldn't handle the giggle juice. Uh, okay. Thank you for that. I do think charge is probably my best bet here. I do like the uh, different, like, little announcer that we have. It's on! Oh, I was trying to hit you. <laughs> Damn it. Now, Oh, so I can walk into these things. They just explode, so if I walk into them and then dodge out of the way, I'm good. They don't do contact damage. That's important to note. Uh-huh. I do like this song a lot. Ow! Something just, like, fell on my head. Okay. I got so close that, like, third time there. <clears throat> oh, I tried to hit you. Uh-huh. Die for me, please. Can you do that for me? Ah. I was trying to do my dodge. Okay, and I do have my special built up as well. I don't think I could do this in one episode. Being able to do one boss would be nice. But, uh, obviously, I- ow. I wanted the stupid parry. Ah! You spawn on me, bastard! Get out of here! How dare! Okay, there we go. Maybe I should just f le focus less on, uh, getting parries. Oh, I thought that would hit you. Because beginning the parries is really spooky in this phase. Oh, hey. Okay, we got you. Yeah. So maybe I shouldn't stand on that middle row against you. Maybe I should stand, like, down here? I don't know. It still seems kind of dangerous. Oh, I was like, what hit me? It was that idiot walking. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, dodging that. Oh. I thought it was going to go away by the time it came back around. Is it? Uh-huh. There we go. So let's... Maybe I should start exploding these things to get them out of the way. So things are just a little bit safer for me. That seems like a good call, yeah. Whoa! Oh, damn it! The stupid... The stupid pinks. They're so hard to get on this. Whoop. Got it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Out of here, stupid idiot. Go! Ah. I was looking at the boss and didn't see stupid mosquito idiot here spawn. You're not gonna be drinking anymore when you're dead. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Come on, charge shots, please. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm saving my special here. Whoop. Mm -hmm. Saving it for that third phase that I made it to the first time and never again. Damn it, how much HP do you have? Fuck you. <laughs> Surviving with like one HP. I hate you. Okay, we're getting worse though. I was gonna say we're getting better though, but no, we did really well that first time, so. <sighs> Fuck you. I was trying to do my jump attack. I'm usually not good with levels where you gotta fall through platforms anyway. So uh, this is gonna be a struggle. When do you stop the talk? Bastard. Uh-huh. There we go. See, that's what I wanted. Go away. Ollie. Look! Damn it. I dashed into it instead of the opposite. Dashing out of it. Dashing out of it is what I need to do. Uh-huh. Okay, so we can see you stupid jackasses appear in the background before you actually spawn in. 
Uh huh. I dashed into that! Damn it! Yeah, that was a that was a dead run. Okay, so yeah, you like eat the cookie when we or you give you give the cookie when we start, and that's what summons. Oh, I should have invented dashed. Uh huh. You didn't even do your little thing there. Weird. Oh, the bounce! God. This- this level's a mess, just keeping up with everything. Ugh. It's not usual that I find the first phase to be the hardest, but, uh, this is pretty rough. Because there's just so much on the screen. It's such a mess. There we go. <sighs> the second phase is definitely easier. I think. Uh-huh. Yep. Focus on dodging. Uh-huh. Yep. Uh-huh. Okay, we're doing it. Once again, gonna save my special. Yeah. Eat it, dork. There we go. Okay, so if I remember correctly... Yeah. So do I have to, like, survive long enough to... Oh! You put your tongue low and then you switched it top. So, um, I do have the first special, the energy beam, so I would have hit the boss with my special there, but I had to get to the top row to hit it. Hmm. Let's see here. Uh, I was thinking about if I wanted to switch up my stuff at all. I'm not really sure I would like using anything else. I don't even remember what I have set to my secondary. I was using charge basically exclusively before. Um, I think I'm gonna start skipping this first phase. And I'll just show the second phase and onward at this point, so... Alright, I'm here. I have 2 HP. I got hit by one of those stupid idiots because I turned and tried to fire my charge shot. And just, like, barely missed. So, I probably should consider investing in, uh, another attack here. But not talking definitely helps me out. Okay. So let's get up here. And can I hit you with... Th oh, wait, you have a different special, of course. Damn it. I didn't even think about that. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, so you fake out. That's annoying. You can fake me out. Okay. Whew. Ooh. Yeah. God, what an annoying asshole. So... Can I not... I can only hurt you when your hat comes up, right? I, I thought that was the case. Oh my god, this thing needs to die. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, okay, so it's straight up and down your special. I didn't think about that. I thought I was gonna have my normal art. Um, or I forgot about that, rather. Okay, but it seems like I just have to survive in that phase? How do I get your hat to come back off? Okay, spread? So much better here. God, it's so much easier to just kill the crazy amount of enemies that we have going on here. Makes it so much easier. Plus, I can get some pretty good hits on, uh, you as well. Yeah, oh my god, spread. Okay. Yeah, I was relying a little bit too much on charge. There. For sure. I think I'll still use, uh, charge here. Ooh, I'm so used to my Invinci dash there. There we go. Forgot, I have an Invinci roll now, so... Gotta be careful there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay, dead. Easy. Easy peasy, actually. Super easy. Uh-huh. Okay, so now we just gotta survive your ass. Okay. Uh, okay, I thought hitting your tongue would maybe do something. God, I hate this bouncing ball of idiots so much. It's so, like, if I can hit them with a charge shot, it's not that bad, but they have a lot of HP. Oh my god. 
Yeah, all I need to do is get the stupid hat to come off one more time, you big mammoth bastard. Alright, we're here. We have full HP. Let's do this. Eat it, dork. Uh-huh. Okay, we survived that. Uh-huh. Dash. Dash. Okay. I'm playing it safe on that second one. I don't actually think I need to do it, but I'm just playing it safe. Okay, you're dead. Out of here. So I can still shoot you while you're doing that. Okay, so now we just gotta survive this garbage. Which, way easier said than done. Okay, you're coming back down here. Uh, ow. God, why does this exist? It's so much easier if I can kill it with a charge shot. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. Okay. Like, I'm so confused about what I need to be doing here. Oh, I can shoot your- t I can shoot your stupid snout thing. Okay. I didn't notice that that was actually damaging you. So that's what I need to do. Okay, well now that we know... My god. I thought, that since we damaged- since the snail was the only point of damage before, I kind of thought that was still going to be the case. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Bing. There we go. Yeah, since the snail was the only way to damage before- Oh! Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, there was one final hit on the snail, so we had to take out the mammoth and the snail. Okay. Or is that like an anteater? I don't know. <laughs> it had like a trunk, but the tongue was coming out of it, so I don't know, I'm confused. Whew. It was hard to get a pin on it visually. Okay, so we managed to do that. That was... Pretty rough, but we managed to pull it off. Cool. You got the distillery dough. Awesome. Yeah, once I realized that you could actually hit the tusk, I, I thought it was gonna be- I thought it was a boss that had phases, like, where we couldn't damage them for a while, and we had to wait for them to take their hat off. But, uh, that was not the case. So, there's Pork Ryan's shop. That's what I wanted to go check out. I should have done that before this, too. An audience at last. The climbing contest medal ceremony is about to begin. May have gotten second place, but I think I did alright. No way the others could have caught me. I left them in the dust. They think they're better than me? They can stick it right up their nose. Climbing contest, eh? So I could go back and get my coins from Inkwell Isle. Maybe I'll do that before next time. So, straight shot with good damage breaks into weaker aimed projectiles. Interesting? So, straight shot, it always does a straight shot, so you can't... No, 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 so you can... It just goes in a straight line, basically, and then breaks into weaker aimed projectiles, so it's like... You shoot it, and then it, you get the little auto-targeting things? Interesting. Parry for HP. Gain 1 HP on your first, third, and sixth parry. Interesting. Converge. Full screen piercing three-way shot. Hold lock button to narrow spread. Broken Relic, a simple bauble of unknown origin. Okay. Rapid fire shot with arced pathway and average damage. Full screen piercing three way shot. That sounds. interesting. Hold lock button to narrow spread. Weird. Well, these might be pretty good. I do like the idea of this heart ring, but, um. You know, I'm probably gonna be using, uh, Miss Chalice for most of this. Or at least try to. I do feel like I'd be more comfortable with Cuphead or Mugman, but it's the new DLC. I wanted to use the new characters, so... Why don't we get... Um... Hmm... Crackshot? Breaks into weaker aimed projectiles. And you get a... You, you get a turret. A turret sounds amazing. Electro bolt, cyclone spiral, full screen piercing. I mean, I also like full screen piercing, but... Well, let's get crack shot. And we can try that out in the next fight, I think. But, yeah. Alright, I think this is probably going to be the end of the first episode. I do still have to get this up today. I'm mostly just happy we were able to beat a boss. And that wasn't too bad, once I kind of understood what was happening. I mean, I almost beat it... Unlike my, uh... Third try or whatever, so... Yeah, 
I hope you enjoyed this first episode of Cuphead Delicious Last Course, and I'll see you next time.